Hi, this is Q&A. New question. How accurate is the NNC? Few words about the accuracy of a paper chart on NNC. The accuracy of the data on your NNC is as varied as paper charts. Like paper chart, the data contained in the NNC is only as accurate as the original survey data from which it was made up. The bridge team should always use ENC with caution as the accuracy of the origin survey will never be 100%. There are some tools available on ENCs that can help you assess the accuracy and quality of the data, such as the category of zone of confidence, like CATZOC, and the accuracy layer. These tools can show you the age, source, and reliability of the survey data used to create the ENC. Paper charts do not have these tools, but some nations indicate larger scale chart coverage on each chart. Paper charts also have different standards and symbols that ENCs, which may affect the accuracy and consistency of the information displayed. ZOC. ZOC stands for Zone of Confidence. It is a way of indicating the quality and the accuracy of depth information in electronic navigational chart or charts like NCR. ZOC values are assigned to geographical areas based on the position accuracy, depth accuracy, seafloor coverage, and the survey characteristics of the data. Doc values range from A1 highest to D lowest, and U unassessed. Agdis displays uh, the Doc values using triangulars or lozenge shaped symbols with stars. The number of stars represent the Doc value from 6 stars, like A1 to 1 star, like D. Doc values help mariners to assess the reliability of the depth information and plan their voyage accordingly. In the INSYS, the chart accuracy may be assessed using the PIC report or it may be selected in display settings to present the zone of confidence objects as a chart overlay. We have to understand the doc provides the information about accuracy for both position and depth. So, to avoid obstacles and charted hazards, navigators must include in uh, the avoiding distance clearance the doc value of position accuracy, and the depth accuracy of the doc must be taken into account in UQC calculations respecting the company rules. Very often, company policy allows you to ignore ZOC depth accuracy if the navigable water depth is twice or more higher than your dynamic draft. Let's have a look to the characteristics to each ZOC category demonstrated in the table below. Zone of Confidence A1 is the highest and has six asterisk and the plotted objects on the ENC have position accuracy plus minus 5 meter plus 5% uh, of the sea depths. At the same time, charted depth has an accuracy of uh, 0.50 meter plus 1% of the sea area depths. Concern to sea floor coverage. In this case, a full area search undertaken. Significant seafloor features detected and depths measured. Typical survey characteristics Controlled, systematic survey, high position and depth accuracy achieved using the GPS are a minimum three high quality lines of position and the multi beam, channel or mechanical sweep system. ZOC A2 has five asterisks inside of triangle. Position accuracy here is plus minus 20 meters, depth accuracy 
1 meter plus 2% of depths. Seafloor coverage. Pool area search undertaken. Significant seafloor features detected and depths measured. Typical survey characteristics. Controlled. Systematic survey achieving position and depth accuracy less than Log A1 and using a modern survey like a sound and a sonar or mechanical sweep system. Log B has four asterisks inside the triangle, but position accuracy here is already plus minus 50 meters. Depth accuracy 1 meter plus 2 percent of the depths. Seafloor coverage. Full area search not achieved. Uncharted features. Hazardous to surface navigation are not expected but may exist. Typical survey characteristics. Control systematic survey achieving similar depths but lesser position accuracies than Log A2 using a modern survey echo sound but no sonar or mechanical sweep system. So please keep in mind the highest ZOG always bordered in triangles. ZOG C represents three asterisks edged by oval. Position accuracy here is plus minus 500 meters. Depth accuracy is 2 meters plus 5% of depth. Seafloor coverage. Full area search not achieved. Depth anomalies may be expected. Typical survey characteristics. Low accuracy survey or data collected on an opportunity basis such as soundings on passage. Dog D is an oval with two asterisks inside. Depth and position accuracies here are worse than Dog C. Seafloor coverage. Full search not achieved, large depth anomalies expected. Typical survey, poor quality data or data that cannot be quality assessed due to lack of information. Letter U in oval means unassessed. This is the last log category. The quality of the bisometric data has yet to be assessed in those areas. Therefore, the Kedzog symbol displayed on the axis will only give a partial description of the quality of the chart information being displayed and does not include all information available from the traditional paper chart source data diagram. However, there are another attributes that may be added to the quality of data feature objects in the INC data, where knowing the INC producer may optionally include the following related information, like depth range value, positional accuracy, sounding accuracy, survey start and end, technique of sounding. In addition to the quality of data feature objects described above, the ANC producer may also include survey reliability area objects to the ANC data to show the limits and details of individual surveys. Where known, the NC producer may include the following information as attributes of the feature object, like quality of position, quality of sounding measurements, scale values 1 and 2, sounding distance maximum and minimum, survey authority, survey start and end, survey types, technique of sounding. To view this additional information, the Agdis Peak Report function can be used to interrogate the quality object. While CAGZOC provides the usable information, it should not be relied upon in isolation, and mariners should use the Agdis Peak Report function to interrogate any further information 
that may have been provided by the NTC producer within quality objects to build a full picture of the accuracy of the NC data that is available and so establish the appropriate safety tolerances when determining the best voyage plan. So, CADOC is not the only one instrument which you have to use for assessing of the accuracy of the electronic chart. Here is an example how the CADOC function is selected in a specific access interface. So, it is uh, normally hidden somewhere in chart settings and some producers uh, keep it as an accuracy menu for the chart. Let's try to activate the CADZOC and this specific chart. I go to the settings of my specific axis and here in settings for the chart I have chart objects area and this is a very rare let's say interface but also available on the market here there is the option of accuracy when I select it at my case I have a display custom for the chart and look now the data about category zone of confidence appears on the chart this selection should always be done when you analyze the chart during your passage planning and there are already official instructions about that from IMO and also if you would like to change your route you have to analyze the accuracy of the chart but remember please CADZOC is not the only one option for analyzing of the chart accuracy